Rick Ross pulls out all his exclusive cars for a one-time look at his Georgia estate. You know what I'm saying? Morning glory, rise and grind. Yes! Yes! It's a beautiful morning. You want to hear what you want to hear or do you hear what you need to hear? All right. It's time to get up off your lazy mother Because there's some rich mother somewhere that's up early this morning. And they going hard. Oh, they back. Ah, they neck stiff, all that shit. Nobody want to hear that shit, man, if you want to hear the truth. Nobody don't want to hear that. Your kids don't want to hear that shit. Your colleagues, your co-workers, your boss most definitely don't give a fuck how you feel. Because you know what? They want results, homie. They want to make it to the top. They want to be number one on the list. And they can't do it with a colleague or a motherfucking partner like you. A lazy motherfucker that ain't trying to break motherfucking new motherfucking barriers. Okay. It's only right. Let's see. Let's see how we going to do this. Oh, we doing it like the biggest ball should. Number one rum. A top number one rosé. And the most sought after bottle there is in the game. The blue bottle. That's what I'm talking about. It's on you. If you going to do what the fuck you need to do or what you want to do, man, I don't know, man. I don't know what you want to do. All I know is I want to go hard. So when I get off this shit with y'all, I'm going to call somebody that ain't even expecting my call and talk some shit to them and tell them, hey, man, I need you to do this for me. And I ain't even really need them to do it. I just want them to do it. Let's see if we can get it done. Because when they call me, I'm going to come through for them. That's what the f loyalty about, ain't it? It's about motherfucking loyalty. Ain't no loners out here, man. This ain't even all that shit. Y'all see that track over there, you hear me? I'll come cut your mama motherfucking grass if you ain't doing it. I'll come cut your mama grass. I don't even know if my track that could fit in your goddamn yard or through the gate. But I'll come cut that mother. See these, these custom. Boss Edition, Corleone Forge, number one in the game. Come on. Come on. One of one. You see this? Two years ago, my sister got me this for Christmas. This was. 190,000, I want to say, 1959, flawless one owner. And then this right here, this one on one. This one on one. You can't even buy this from the store. You can't even buy this. We ain't gonna even let you play yourself. Y'all was, I saw y'all was uh, entertained by me talking about this the other day. But. Y'all still ain't get the year right. Look at him. He telling you to look up in the sky. That's the 57 Nomad. It's the Bel Air version of the station wagon. And it's a little motivation for the hustle. This for you if you was like me. Sit home, watch cartoons, and know you wanted a Ferrari, a Lambo, and everything else you wanted. Now it's time to go get it. Let's network, baby. Let's network. Come on. We just warming up. Let's go. Morning, brother. God is great. God is the greatest. dedication but you gotta enjoy it it's meant to be fun and you will enjoy it let's bust our ass let's go hard let's cry let's go through pain let's go through all the agony that come with success but guess what that shit get real natural get real green like trees baby you know what i'm saying that's when you let the top down and drink water and when you let the top down for all the squares leave your windows up it look better to hustlers like me leave your windows up with the top down you know, come on, I ain't scared.
Join the team today, man. Become a brand ambassador. Ethica, official Bel Air. We partners with a lot of dope people. Post Wale new single, Angles featuring Chris Brown. This is my baby right here, right? This is Shasta trailer. This is this was like a god. You know when the in the 60s this was like you know so if you had a chevy bel air you see the wings on the back kind of remind you of the chevy bel air these the original you remember these on your mama and your grandma window you remember them this shit all original boy i come pick your hoe up in this shit, boy imagine this imagine rose came in picked your hoe up in this and took her to the park that's the refrigerator that's the stove that's a couch that's a bed up there. That's a shower back there. This is the original, man. If you had one of these in the 70s, you was a player, man. You could have been frying fish. You could have went fishing at the park and fried them right there. Had a sexy motherfucker sitting right there. She could keep crossing her legs. Make sure her legs shaved. Your legs got to be shaved, baby, with some nice heels on them. And as you can see, we have a film crew out here. I ain't going to tell y'all exactly what's going on yet, but they just getting out here. But they say my life kind of interesting, guys. They want to know what make me move and do what I do and, you know, shit like that. So uh, they want to come feel me walk around with my toes out. So I said, why not? Why not? I don't, I never, I don't believe I showed anybody this, but this is my limousine that I purchased, right? Why? Don't ask me why. That's not important. I could, but look, as a youngster growing up, you always wanted a limousine, a ride in a limousine. So many, many years ago when it presented itself, I said, F it. I want to keep it. And the, as you can see, the, the limousine was flawless. Very low miles, I done had it for some years and I just never really showed nobody that, you know what I mean? So if I came and picked Baby, if I came and picked you up in a limo, how would you feel? This is just a question for, and DM me the answers. Ladies, ladies only. If I came and picked you up in a limousine, but the rack was full of Bel Air, the rack. So, as you can see, this bad for Chronicles, but this is what I do want you to know. If I ever entrusted or invested my time, my love, my energy, and my money into you, and you disappointed me, you know how I'm going to deal with you? I got something for you. Here it go. I got you your own tractor. This your tractor. This your tractor. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This your tractor. And guess what I'm going to make your ass cut? You owe me, baby. You owe me. It's dedication. Y'all waved to my tractor. All right? Now imagine you cutting yours on your tractor. We indebted to each other for life. We made each other a promise. You gave me your word. You would give your all. You owe it to me. You owe me. Hey, if somebody work at John Deere, I want y'all to let them know the biggest boss, Ricky Rose, said hi. Hello, everyone at John Deere. Wow, that's a John Deere bicycle. Wow, that's a John Deere tractor. Wow. Hello everyone at John Deere. Rick Ross said hi. <laughs> on these seats, look at that. Look at that seat. Ooh, that's flawless. Ooh. You smell that? If I was to ever let you sit in this, it ain't no way. I got feelings for you. I got feelings for you. I like you so much. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. Come on. Why would I lie to you? You see them seat belts? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I'll let you hit that flag. Look at that. I'm going to be honest, baby. I ain't going to pick you up in this. It's just for me to go get money in. You heard me? That's it. I'm going to get money in this. You hear me? Look at that. That thing got, I got paper mats in this. Like it's your great grandma car. 
Sunday morning before church. Look at them seats. Come on now. Come on now. See that original wheel? This the original now. Come on. But if I pull up, baby. Oh, matter yet, matter yet. You know what? You know what I do? If I care for you, I drive it to your house late one night and leave it there in the front yard so your old can see it. And they gonna say, she finally got her real rich. And now, Woo! look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. The boss edition. Man, if you a boss, you got whips, you should have your own rims too. That's how I'm thinking. One time for calling on Forge. That's why the real ones with me, because I show the real ones love. If I'm doing it and you doing it, I'm going to show you love. Don't even trip. Let's show each other love. Keep the money. Let's spend the love. That's right. Mean that. Ain't that's how y'all do mean it. Spend the love. Let's spend the love. I'm going to show y'all some. When I say original and clean, that's what I mean. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Your grandma would have peed on herself if your great granddaddy picked her up and let her ride in this. Look at that. That's all original, though. That's why I love when I see the cracks on the dash, because this original. I love this. This day counted. Whenever you seen that, it was real, you know what I mean? I done had this car shit. over 20 years, man. Now. You see this? This the all gold big hub dating. It's the most sought after wheel in the world. The CEO of your favorite rim company, if they tell you anything other than that, stop fucking with them right now. All gold dating wild wheel, the real ones. You heard me? I'm gonna put the skirt back on there. You heard me? This Dade County, this Dade County boy, Gucci top. You know what I'm talking about? You see that? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This right here, this is one of my favorites. Now, this is a huge opportunity. I'm looking for the Smokey and the Bandit version, the black and gold version. I want it to be a 79. You know, talk to me, talk to me. I'm looking for it now. Black and gold, black and gold, fiber with the screaming chicken on the hood and no, 
It ain't got nothing to do with facts. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.